I played you. I played your life. So she should stay away from all them drugs, cause them drugs would lead to bad decisions. And then, oh, somebody in the oven. This is wait. Me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. I wonder why they brought us back here. I'm getting a sense maybe Anita's treacherous activities or treacherous behavior started way, way, way back. Way back, way back. She said, I finally lost touch with him. I'll never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children, my cute little angels who light up my life. Oh, this must be, this must be my mom's diary or some. Golly, niggas always trying to get involved in my shit, bruh. Like, just let me do my shit. Let me do me, bruh. Why niggas always trying to get involved by opening doors for me? Fuck off with that shit. Fuck off with that gentleman shit. I don't need that. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? I don't know, bro. I need us just stubborn like that with a treacherous ass. A treacherous ass. My new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't take to him. Oh, they, they, they're not accepting him just yet, okay. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. <laughs> Baby girl, you good. If he got fucking soft-ass feelings, bro, of course them kids is not gonna fucking accept him just like that. You you step daddy, bro. You're not the real nigga. So it's like, bro, you gotta work up to that nigga position, that nigga status, you get me? But this is always the fear for me, bro. Like dating a mumsy that got children, bro. It's like fuck, bro. You gotta warm up to the kids. The kids gotta love you. It's like you're not just only dating their mom, but you also gotta fucking consider them too, bro. Cause it's not just their mom. It's like, bro, it's a package deal, bro. You're not only getting the mom, you're getting the kids too. So when the kids don't like you, that shit go south, bro. That shit just go south real fucking quick. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize she. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. What? What the fuck you mean by that, mom? <coughs> the fuck? I'm sure she'll catch up and pass them soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like that heartless bitch who raised me. <coughs> Let's all come down now. I won't fill my children with hate. I won't fill my children with hate and fear. I just won't do that. No, I'm not that bitch that raised me. Damn, bro. I'm in fuck, bro. If that's the motivation that keeps you going, do you, bro? They did go opening doors, bro. For a second, I thought I was crouched, bro. How short can she fucking be, bro? Oh, nah, she's fucking short. Oh, this is. Hold up. This is me as a kid. This is me as a fucking kid right now. I was like, hold up, bro. Ain't no way Anita was this fucking short, bro. I'm like, fuck, bro. She, 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 ain't, even, <laughs> she ain't even taller than fucking... Bro, she ain't even taller than the third... This this door right here. The fridge right here. The, you know? You get what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. March 7, 2012. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hands from the new place he was raving about. <laughs> My man love himself some pizza. Is he Italian? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Stop, stop, stop. My daughter, my daughter hated the pizza though. She's extremely peaky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. <laughs> kid gotta eat, man. They gotta eat, bro. So gotta eat some, you get me? You, you feel me? You, you feel me? <laughs> you get me? The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and and said he and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life, and I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. Damn, bro, mom's you had was so hopeful about this nigga. He told me the, he told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with them? 
He doesn't visit. He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. I swear, bro. Mumsy was like, bruh, bruh. We need this nigga. This nigga. This nigga putting food on the table, bruh. Proper food, bruh. The food with the nutrients. The food with the vitamins. The food with the vitamins. Y'all are out here banging on fucking doors. Disrespectful. Ungrateful ass pricks. Y'all don't even know what the fuck going on. Kids are just so fucking ignorant, bro. This wasn't here. I'm giving up my life for you! Oh my gosh, the way that shit changed, I, I, I was unex... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How the fuck does that happen, bro? How many days do you have to fucking miss, bro? Oh my gosh, bro. And a lot of bottles that just screams, I need help. All of these bottles, bro. That's a cry for help, bro. What does this say? May 9, 20, 2012. Everything seems to be doing well now that we've been going out on dates. He was worried about my kids. So he bought them a bunch of books and toys. That should be enough to keep them occupied, right? I've been going out so much lately that I've left the place in a bit of a mess. I should clean it, but by the time I get back, I have no energy. Oh shit, what y'all be doing on that fucking day? Damn, you say grown people stuff? My bad. I got contacted by a child welfare center. I guess some knows... <laughs> I guess some nosy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck do they know? He hasn't called me much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fucking bad guy? Damn, bro. Damn, mumsy. She was, she's in her head right now, bro. She feels like life is just not... It's, it's not happening, bro. It's just not happening for her, bro. If I hadn't had children, maybe I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. I know what's going in in the closet. I know, I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. What the fuck does that mean, mom? Oh my gosh, bro. This ain't no way to live, bro. Don't you dare go outside. What the fuck? Stop. The fuck am I supposed to do with them damn fucking rats? Whatever the fuck. What does this say, bro? We have reached out to you repeatedly but have yet to receive a response. Is this child welfare? Oh, it is. We take this to mean you have no intention of rem remedying, remedying the situation. You are, in you are in violation of German Civil Code, Article 1631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. Should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Damn, bro. They done, they done took us away from our mom, bro. She was talking about not being her momsy, but there's just something about history repeating itself, and then that shit does... You know what they always say, bro. History repeats itself. But fuck, bro. She had to break that fucking curse, but she didn't, bro. They done had to take us away from her, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. And those fucking rats back there. What significance does that fucking sign have, bro? That marking right there, that circle, that scribbling there. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother. Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him. And when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine... To, 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 Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. According to the investigation, Persons A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. 
When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her mother's they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. What the fuck? Oh, great heavens! What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, bro? Oh my gosh. the actual fuck, bro. I'm a curse. You always said you'd be better off without me. You see, this should make sense now. Nah, she's fucked up for that shit, bro. Now this shit done carried... Her fucking problems have carried on to her fucking children, bro. I am your daughter. Oh, yo, bro. Now I understand why she feels like this, bro. I'm cursed. Oh, my fucking gosh. Oh, my fucking gosh. She should have fixed her life before she done got kids, bro. She should have fixed her shit, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. This is so fucked, bro. Locking up your kid, bro. Your own fucking kid who you carried for how many months? Six months, bro. Locking the motherfucker up like that, bruh. For what, bro? To punish them? Oh my gosh, bruh. I mean, at this point, bro, if you see other niggas living childhoods like this, bro, me getting them hidings as a kid, it's like, GG's, my nigga, you was living soft life. You was living a soft life. Compared to niggas getting locked up, bro, in a small space as a kid, a kid just wants to play, bro. Imagine... Robbing the kid of all that freedom, locking them up. What are you building, bro? What are you building within that fucking child, bro? Oh yeah, this should all make sense now. This should all make sense now. Why I she's like this? This room here in the villa. I tried so hard to forget this place. You gotta face your demons, baby girl. You gotta face your demons, baby girl. That's what this shit is about right now. She really done locked her son in the fucking fridge and he died, bro. Kind of a fucking human does that, bro. I mean, he died in the fucking closet, but it's like, and then he hit him in the fridge. The fucking smell, bro. Oh my gosh, she did fucking wrong for all that shit, bro. She don't even deserve prison. Actually, bro, she deserves the fucking chair. She deserves the fucking chair, bro. What the fuck? Oh, no, nah, this is actually fucking... I've about... This This is fucked up, bro. This is all fucked up, bro. Oh, my gosh. This flowery asshole is about to come through, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my fucking gosh. My nigga! I really like what you're doing, Rayba. Oh, broski! 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 Where's the fucking door? Oh, there's something there. There's something back there. I'll see you, bitch. I played you, I played your life. What the fuck is you saying? I thought it was gonna take me to a fucking cutscene, y'all. 
I thought it was gonna take me to a fucking cutscene, bro. I bet. See me, asshole. I'm afraid of your ass. I'm sorry, mom. Don't feel sorry for yourself, boo. We got shit to handle now. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Gosh! He's close, he's close, he's gonna fuck me up, he's right behind me. He's gonna fuck me up, he's gonna fuck me up, he's right behind me. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, bro. Oh, good lord. This shit, my nigga, this shit. You're into art, right? You could audit oh, this art goal. class? A few more, a few more, a few more. Nope. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. There's nothing here, there's nothing here. Oh, let's fucking go! Oh my gosh! Oh my fucking gosh, I didn't even notice that I opened it, but I was like, where the fuck is this nigga? Am I gonna be alone forever? No, boo, you won't, bro. You just need to work around. You just need to face your demons, bro, and get this shit fixed. Don't carry this shit into your fucking relationships, into your fucking motherhood, bro. 
do not get children right now, bro. She cannot get fucking kids right now. She cannot get pregnant right now, bro. So she should stay away from all them drugs because them drugs would lead to bad decisions. And then, oh, somebody in the oven. <laughs> somebody in the fucking oven asking for somebody to come. <laughs> somebody in the oven. We don't need that. We don't need that, bro. She needs to go straight to the therapist, bro. She said that shit don't work. I think she did mention it. I think Amelia did. Amel Amelie. 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 I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I always fucking butcher it. But she did mention that she should fucking go to therapy. They did talk about it. Not that she mentioned. They did talk about it that she tried going to therapy. But then Anita was like, no, grown, talking to grown people don't fucking work type shit. And then it's like, bruh. If professional help ain't helping, it's like, you don't want to be helped. <laughs> you don't want to be fucking helped. That's why it's not helping. You don't want to be helped, which means you're not talking about it. You get me? That's why she can't find help. Maya's diary. I've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girls who jumped off the villa roof. I'd like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be free of my despair, because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to put every last bit of myself into this piece. My roof piece is almost done. It might actually be crowning, it might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Do I have it in me to come up with something even better? How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is the despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Who knows how often it'll show up. The thought makes me skin. The thought makes my skin. <laughs> the thought makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about all of this. And then Anita's actually talking about it. At this point though, are those texts that was seeing meant for Anita, bro? Probably, probably, probably. Okay, I'm, I'm dipping it a bit too much now. <laughs> I'm dipping the sauce now. Because she did say Anita in some of her messages. Ameli, Ameli did say Anita in some of her messages. So she was definitely talking to Anita. So... <laughs> My bad. I'm digging for something that's not there. But you see, somebody wanted help. But Anita, she ain't giving up. I need help vibes. But golly, this shit getting freaky. This shit getting freaky. At approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th, popular graffiti, popular graffiti artist CB, May... Maya Echo Hindenburg was found collapsed on the grounds of an apartment building in Kedestad. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Damn, bruh. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock to not only local community members, but also to all those who are familiar with her work. Authorities believe the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and the lack of warning signs to, the, to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with the full-scale investigation. Please don't tell me, please, bro, can it just, please, can it be suicide, bro? Please do not tell me that Maya actually pushed her off the fucking building. Because that would be fucking crazy. She, 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 she'll be her mother, bro, because her mother killed her brother. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? The fuck is actually what happening? Will it take for you to forgive me? Please end this. Just let me die. <sighs> okay, now you taking a piss. Now you taking a piss. Cause she's just having fun with my ass at this point, bro. It's like fuck, bro. Just kill me. You know? Now she's just teasing, bro. The fuck is this? What what am I supposed to see? We already seen this before, boo. You running out of ideas to torture me, Maya? I saw baby girl in prison right right about now. She's in hell, bro. Baby girl Anita, she's in hell right now, bro. 
Any new PCs? Is this... me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. Good lord. What a fucker. What a fuck up. You was so fucking... She was so fucking... Oh my gosh, bruh. She was so consumed by her fucking hatred for her to the point that she did not even notice when she noticed her. Oh my gosh, baby girl. Oh my actual fucking gosh. Oh my fucking gosh. Oh yeah. This is so fucked up, bro. This shit just gets worse. This shit gets worse, bro. It does not help Maya's case, y'all. I'm sorry. I wanted to say it does not help Anita's case. Because this shit just gets worse. Okay. This ain't romant- This ain't romantic anon, but this- This looks like a fucking- I don't know. This is like a ritual. A sacrifice. A sacrifice. What the fuck is happening here, bro? I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. Damn, man. She really said, I'm gonna unfuck you, and then I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Maya really said, I'm gonna unfuck your life, and then I will kill you. <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, bro. What the fuck? That is so fucked up, bro. She thought nobody fucks with her. But really, if she got out of her fucking her own fucking mind, she would have seen them niggas that was there for her, bro. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. This is so sad, bro. L friend, bro. L fucking friend. Emily. What should I do? Oh my gosh. Is that the door to heaven, bro? Please, bro. Let me go, bro. Let me go, bro. Let me go, bro. Please can we stop with all the bullshit, bro. Oh my gosh, this is so- this just makes it worse, y'all. The fact that she actually noticed her. Like, she was so in her own fucking mind to the point that every time she probably said a compliment, she thought it was headed in Amelia's way. Amelie's way. I'm such a piece of shit. Agreed. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said. I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya. Both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita? Wait. Where are you right now? Thank you. Mama. Down. Down. You always there for me i'm i'm going to go apologize to maya now wait anita calm down just listen to me i just baby girl Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my. Oh my fucking class, W. That was a fucking W indeed. <laughs> indeed. Oh my gosh, the sun done came out too. Fucking hell. Oh yeah, that's tough, boo. That was tough, baby girl. That was tough. That was tough. Yep, let it all out. Let it all out, bro. Let it all out. Don't let that shit. Don't let that shit build, bro. Oh my god, she was stuck in her own fucking head, bro. Oh, W's in the chat. That's a fucking W in my books, bro. Maybe, maybe she did have a hand in fucking baby girl dying, but baby girl done helped her. She's Seeking she. A connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone, and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that, but I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward. Shit. And never look back to 18-year-old me. This is the full fucking image bruh i actually done learned a lesson from this game bruh that many of us bro live in here bruh not here bruh no we live in here bruh it all starts here and it all ends here for some of us when it all should start here and then and here on the level plane on earth bruh a lot of us be living in our fucking minds, bruh. That's what I learned from this, bruh. That get out your... That's what I learned from this, bruh. That we gotta get out of our fucking heads, bruh. I'm a victim to this shit, bruh. You know that one beautiful girl, bruh, at school? You get me? That one girl, maybe let's say some Monday. She looking at you nice. She feeling you on that day, bruh. You get me? She's giving you beautiful smiles. Not necessarily beautiful smiles, but let's say your eyes lock... She see you, see her. <laughs> you give her a bright smile, you wave. She wave back. It's all nice, y'all smiling. Come Wednesday. Same girl, same eye contact. <laughs> you wave. She don't wave back. Oh my gosh. Your whole world has fucking ended. You go home. You're like, oh yeah. She don't love me. She don't even fucking like me. I'm such a fucking weirdo. I'm trying to make eye contact with this girl. I'm trying to talk to her. She doesn't even see me, bro. She doesn't like you, my boy. Stop looking at her because you're just coming off as a fucking crip. As a fucking weirdo. She doesn't like you, bro. Oh, yeah, it's tough. No, no. Now you make it a thing, bro. But people are allowed to have bad days, bro. What if she was having a bad day on that day, bro? If he was not stuck in here, you would have fucking seen that. You would have fucking processed that shit out. Oh, shit. Maybe she's not feeling well. Instead, let me go talk to her. Hey, how are you doing? Are you feeling okay? If she airs that shit, then I don't know what to tell you, bro. You better get that rope ready. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. That was a that was an L joke. I know, bro. But I'm... I just don't want to, I don't want to take things too serious, bro. Because if I take things too serious, but I'm, but that was serious. That fact that people do have bad days. And sometimes you need to remember that, that other niggas have lives too. Nobody, not everybody is living in your fantasy world or in your fucking world. Not everything circulates around you. Not everything is about you. Not everything should be about you. There's other niggas out there. So get out of there, bro. Get out of there, bro. That's all I got for y'all, bro. Y'all probably like, bro. We don't want to hear that shit. But y'all, I just, I just want to let y'all know how I'm feeling after this game, bro. Get the fuck out of there. Love y'all. Go win out there. Stack up them W's, bro. See y'all in the next fucking video, bro. Love y'all.
money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. I like to see.